So we're using like, we've taught a computer to understand what the dog is doing. And we've, um, we're really proud of that. The fact that we've created a computer that's fast enough to do all that, but then also respond to your dog with light sounds and treats. So respond, respond to your dog in a way it understands. Um, so what that means is that that's the AI piece, right? We're using a little bit of AI to train a computer to how to quickly understand what's a dog, what's a sit, what's a recall, what are all the other positions we want to see to make sure mm -hmm. the dog's having fun, to make sure the dog's not anxious, to make sure the dog's eating the treats, like how quickly, get a sense of the dog's appetite. There's so much you can determine if you have a yeah. superhuman presence, a superhuman computer, like watching all of the things that are signals from an animal, right? Um, and I think to your higher level question, like, I think AI is a supplement to all that. It's a tool. Um, it's almost like a translator. If you think about it, like the, e the easiest way to probably consider it is like a babble fish or like um, the Rosetta Stone or any number of 